We do not collect body, face, or voice data to identify our users. We do not. The, the, the only well, you, you don't? The, no. The only face data that you get, that we collect, is when you use the filters to have, say, sunglasses on your face, we need to know where your eyes are. And Why that, do you need they, to know what the eyes are if you're not seeing if they're dilated? Well, and as was pointed out by Chairwoman Rogers, you have regular contact with Chinese Communist Party Secretary, Mr. Zhang Fuping, who is your boss at ByteDance, correct? No. No. No, he's neither my boss, nor do we have frequent contact. But you have regular contact with ByteDance? Uh, with uh, the CEO of ByteDance. Who is... Mr. Zhang Fuping is the editor-in-chief. He's not... My the colleague, CEO. Representative... I find that hard to believe. It's our understanding that they're looking at the eyes. How do you determine what age they are then? Uh, we rely on age gating as our key age assurance. Age gating, which is when you ask the user what age they are. We have also developed some tools where we look at their public profile um, to go through the videos that they post to see whether... Well, that's creepy. Tell me more about that. It's public. Here's the main point of concern. China's 2017 national intelligence law states very clearly that, quote, any organization or citizen shall support, assist, and cooperate with state intelligence work in accordance with the law and maintain the secrecy of all knowledge of state intelligence work. In other words, ByteDance, and also your TikTok employees that live in China, they must cooperate with Chinese intelligence whenever they are called upon. And if they are called upon, they're bound to secrecy. That would include you. So Mr. Chu, if the CCP tells ByteDance to turn over all data that TikTok has collected inside the US, even within Project Texas, do they have to do so, according to the Chinese law? Con Congressman, first, I'm, I'm Singaporean. Um, that's fine. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I'm sorry, I may not understand that. So if I have a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? It will have to, to access the network to get connections to the internet, if, if that's the question. Is it possible then that it could access other devices on that home Wi-Fi network? Co Congressman, we do not do anything that is beyond any industry norms. Um, I believe the answer to your question is no. It could be technical. Let me get back to you. Okay. I think we are need to address the problem of privacy. I agree with you. I don't think ownership is the issue here. With a lot of respect, American social companies don't have a good track record with data privacy and user security. I mean, look at Facebook and Cambridge Analytica. Just one example.